Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back from Cisco Live Vegas. My name is Vivek, and it's always a pleasure to talk to you about cool innovation from Cisco Spaces. With me today is Bharat. It's day three at Cisco Live, and I wanted to use the metaphor of three because three times the charm. So I've got someone who's three inches taller than me. Bharat, welcome. Hey, Vivek. Thank you. Now, three weeks ago, again, the metaphor of three, Rajesh Reddy, Fran, Ariana, and Deepak Chopra came to you live from a Spaces Digital event and launched this newly designed, redesigned signage. The signage, as you know, has been the symbol of hybrid work for almost two years. We took a lot of your feedback, we added new features and functionalities, and we brought it to your workspaces. Three weeks hence, Bharat and I are on this experiment of taking the signage out of the workspace and putting it at a venue. We tried this once at Amsterdam, again, three months ago, and we are now trying the new version of the signage at a whole new place at Vegas. Bharat, tell us what we have here. Absolutely, we have this really great new redesigned signage as you might have already seen in our webinar three weeks ago, like Vivek mentioned. And as you can see, although we call this solution a smart workspace solution, it blends so seamlessly into a venue. Right? This is the world of solution map at Cisco Live. We have completely mapped this solution. And as you can see, we have added a few devices here to the signage. Vivek, do you see something glaring about this new redesign? Man, I mean, it looks completely rethought through. For first, I'm able to see some of these cool widgets on the top. Um, I mean, the UR here sign exists. It shows red, which means our booth is busy as ever. What else am I missing? You're missing something which is, again, a real obvious here, is a desk view. Obviously, we are in a venue, so you can't see desks in a venue. Yes. So let's switch to a workspace view yes. and showcase to folks Let's start with workspace and see how that's going to be useful. Absolutely. Are we back to San Jose? Now we're back to San Jose. This is our San Jose 10 headquarters, which gives you a visual of uh, how a workspace looks like with our new redesigned signage. And as you can see here, instead of showing just the room views, which is available or occupied, you can also see which desks are available here. When you click on available desks, it takes you into the available desk and shows you what desks are available. What Dude, this is this is crazy, man. So we basically took the metaphor of meeting rooms, which is what Digital Signage 1.0 was. Launched it at the peak of the pandemic. People were mostly coming into work to meet at office, primarily to use meeting rooms. Three years hence, again, the metaphor of three. We are at a situation where people need desks. Hot desking is on and we just launched smart desking. So desk now becomes a point of interest on our maps. Now, if you see, this is just a, this is an experience when someone visits our office. If you're a hybrid worker, you're in the office, you see this beautiful signage in your lobby, you want to know what desks are available. It gives you a desk view on the signage. But what if you're at home? How does that work? You can literally log in to the same view through your phone and showcase desk occupancy on your phone as well. So we are now taking the metaphor of smart desking and taking it beyond the signage and bringing it on the phone. Absolutely. Fantastic. So Bharat, we spoke about desks and the ability to book a desk and hold a desk from the office. But what if I want to start doing this from the home? I don't usually go in to work if I don't know there's a desk not available for me. Absolutely. If you go into an office, you don't see an available desk or a meeting room. It's just futile effort to go all the way to the office. However, we do have a solution for that. And we have a same view on our mobile uh, web browser as well. So you're basically taking the concept of smart desking which we just introduced on the signage Absolutely. into the phone. Absolutely. So you can use it from anywhere. Absolutely. Even from a coffee shop if you want to. Exactly. So here we are with the desk uh, view. Uh, it's the same map, San Jose 10, uh, but now uh, in the fingertips, right? Now in your fingertips. You can literally click on available desk, which gives you the visualization of the same desk that you were seeing on your uh, uh, signage in your lobby. You also get to know if it's occupied or not, and then you can just click on the same button and book it and book the as desk. you wanted. Yeah. So Bharat, let's assume that we came back to work, and I'm now at the lobby, I'm looking at the signage. I now need to navigate to where I need to go. Yeah, let's go back to our live map. Since here, we are here at the venue. You want to do it at the venue. So we're back to the venue, folks. We're back at Vegas. Yeah, let's keep it real. Okay. Let, right. Let's take a look at the environment. Absolutely not a typical environment. Last time we went live on a venue, it was from Amsterdam and we did not have this feature. So we have just added this feature and what we are now showing you is a new concept called Pathfinder. It basically shows you the shortest distance from where I stand to where I want to go. 
So let's take a look at how the Pathfinder looks like. You click on your destination. Let's take McLaren because it's one of those colorful uh, booths that we see here at World of Solutions. Just hit Get Directions and it'll give you the path from where you're standing right now to the booth that we want to head to. Incredible. Dude, this is awesome. There has been 100 times before where I see where I am and where I need to go, but I'm not able to orient myself. With this, I am able to just look at this awesome 50-inch screen and figure out with no other help how I need to reach there. But I'm sure the journey doesn't end here because I do know that we showed our friends indoor wayfinding three months ago. We even launched it three weeks ago. So does that same technology work here? Absolutely. Nothing has changed. It's just getting better and well, better. Well, Rajesh had the opportunity to do it from the convenience of an office where it's a controlled environment. This is a freaking venue in Vegas. Are you telling me that we can wayfind from here to there? Let's try it out. Okay. How do you do it? As simple as scanning a QR code, open up your camera, point it to your QR code here, open up, opens up the interstitial map clip. And you don't need to download an app. You don't need to download an app. Very simple. Takes you straight to the direct. Uh, stay, takes you straight to the destination. So I don't even now have to find McLaren here. It, it yeah. identified the QR code is set to the destination. Absolutely. Let's All try you walking. Need to do is it take me there. It's 355 feet. Not a bad walk. That's, that's a Let's good walk for walk. me, man. Yeah. Let's go for it. Come on. So, Bharat, talk to us a little bit of how we are innovating on indoor wayfinding. Because in my opinion, this is the Google Maps moment for indoor locations. I was probably finishing college when Google Maps came and I remember how it changed my life. And to me, when I walk into a large venue, a large workspace, I'm always confused. I don't have a natural sense of orientation. Something like this makes a ton of difference. How easy is it for our customers to deploy it in their venues and locations? It's really easy. It's, uh, if you have your existing Cisco infrastructure, you have your access points, any 9100 access points already have BLE enabled in them. So they already have a BLE chipset inside their access points. All they need to do is enable it and they are ready to actually deploy it anywhere in their venue. So essentially, as customers are refreshing their access points and are buying a Wi-Fi 6 AP or newer, they come ready for indoor wayfinding. Absolutely. You are really not asking them to buy new gateways. You're not really asking them to bring a mapping provider. The map comes from Cisco. And it's not your complex network ID maps. It is a simple CAD file onboarded onto a dashboard. It spins out this 3D rich map. Absolutely. Our AI engine mapping engine is so good. You upload a CAD map, spins out this 3D map. This 3D map can be used for any of the outcomes on spaces. Dude, so how easy is it for a non-technical person to use the map? I mean, how easy is it for me to scan the QR code and start walking? Is it as simple as any other consumer maps out there? What's, you've been playing this with for a year now. What's, what's your take on it? My take on it is it's actually easier than a consumer uh, oh, app provider. Oh, now that's an interesting take. Why, do you, why would you say that? You just scan a QR code, it gives you the destination. So you don't need to even know how does to download your, Does app. your Google map does that? Oh, oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> good one, good one, Bharat. Are we at the destination yet? We are almost at the destination. How many steps to it, bro? Uh, only uh, 20 feet. Well, I can see. I can see that. I can see McLaren right here. Wow. What a great way to finish. And we are here. There you go. Good stuff, Bharat. That's another win from the Spaces team right from Vegas.